How can we protect the children from getting the coronavirus in their classroom? Hi, my name is Samuel and I'm from Stadler Forum and we hear this question a lot from parents or teachers and as a manufacturer of indoor air purifiers we are very interested in having a good answer. Just recently a new study got published by the University of Stuttgart in Germany. In this study the researchers looked at the virus transmission in classrooms. According to the study, the best protection remains the FFP2 mask. But of course, there are certain circumstances where such a mask cannot be worn by very little children, for example. So in this case, there are other measures that can be taken. And the most efficient measure is to regularly ventilate the room which means that you need to fully open the windows. And there is a very simple recommendation for this. You keep teaching for 20 minutes, do a ventilation break for five minutes, and then keep on teaching for another 20 minutes to ventilate for another five minutes. So that's very simple and reduces the risk of virus transmission dramatically. If wearing a mask is not an option and ventilation cannot happen frequent enough, there are other measures that can be taken. And one of those is the use of an indoor air purifier. For air purifiers, it's very important to choose their size or their output according to the room size. So by using such an air purifier, you can reduce the virus count in the air dramatically and of course protect the children from the spread of the virus in the classroom. To ensure the efficiency of the air purifier it's important to change the filters regularly. Let me summarize. Yes, we can protect our children from the spread of the coronavirus in the classroom. The best solution is to regularly air the room. If this is not possible an air purifier can definitely help to reduce the virus count in this room. If you are interested in the full study, you can find the link in the description. Furthermore, I have added a link from the Max Planck Institute, which provides a calculator of the risk of the virus spread in a classroom. You just add different measures and you get a result on how likely it is to get infected in this room. If you still have questions, just write them in the comments below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more content like this, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you, stay healthy and bye bye.